right, welcome back to Jeff Kunange live right here at Citizen Television. My guest throughout has been uh, of, of, official opposition leader Dr. Kuruel Kot. But before the break, we had mentioned some breaking news which we were getting, and it's been confirmed that the longtime Zimbabwean opposition leader Morgan Changirai dead at the age of 65. He had been suffering from colon cancer for several years, despite constantly being hospitalized in neighboring South Africa. Today, he has succumbed, dead at the age of 65. Morgan Changirai, rest in peace. We continue our conversation with Dr. <coughs> Guru Alcott, and uh, the tweets are coming in very thick and very fast. A lot of them very divisive. We are a very divided country, aren't we? Either that or very hateful. There's so much hate on social media. You what know, do you do? With, yeah. How do you, as third way, how do you deal with the hate? Because, man, so, uh, most of these tweets I can't even read. You know, Jeff, I, I, I'm also shocked about the same thing. And, you know, when you talk about uh, divisive and hateful tweets, they're actually coming from people who can use Twitter, Facebook, which means these are fellows who went to school. I've got a certain command, a certain level of intellect, and therefore they're able to understand things, to be, to be objective. But they are not. So we, if you look at our 14 point uh, um, uh, agenda for national conversation, we actually recognize politics as being the source of failure to address those issues that affect Kenya. For example, we note the fact that we have a divisive political climate. Mm propagated by politicians. We also recognize there is a selfish and conniving political class that uses ethnicity and, 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 and sometimes ignorance of the people to propagate politics. Yeah. We also recognize there is refusal to address historical injustice by politicians because they benefit a lot. It, whenever there is a political crisis, it's the political class that benefits. I mean, you want to recall 207, 208 post-election violence, the idea of a national dialogue. It ended up benefiting just individual politi politicians. And of course, there is dangerous politics being played, politics of hate, politics that pits communities versus communities. And this is why Third Way Alliance has said, listen, even before we talk about those big issues that concern us, we need to recognize that this kind of politics is, is spoiling us. But you see, and many times I've actually wanted to understand, uh, I mean, uh, Jeff, mm. is there something psychic about us Kenyans, especially the educated elite, that we are not able to focus on the real issues? And that's why Third Way Alliance has proposed the following points for discussion. As a conversation for nas nationally, number one, find ending theft of public money. Because money is being stolen, yeah. it's denying us education, it's denying us good road, it's denying us security, it's denying us just, uh, you know, uh, health care. And we need to have this conversation. And this is what that way is proposing. Nobody in the political arena right now is discussing about that. We have also proposed, let's discuss about health care. How do we make, for example, NHIF card unlimited in terms of medic providing medical care? And we, in our research, we have, we have identified the fact that NHIF pays to Indian hospitals annually 10 billion Kenya shillings. Mm. The doctors and the hospitals in Kenya only need about 5 billion to improve healthcare. We are saying let's discuss that. But it's already in the point, four point plan, huh? you know that. Exactly. But, but you see, I hope, the, I hope it will come to fruition. It was also in Jubilee Manifesto that secondary education will be free. The cost of living will improve. That's not true. Today, Fuel has gone up. Just today, today. Just, just midnight, today. Midnight is going I, up. I know that parents have suffered a lot in January yeah. for wanting to ensure that their children uh, go to, to report to secondary school. Yeah. We know that women um, are raped in the maternity also in, 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 in Kenya. Allegedly. So, well, allegedly. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Mm. Allegedly. We have said let's discuss about education. Let's discuss about water. Mm. How can we ensure that every Kenyan has water? in their homestead. So we have also uh, proposed, uh, mm -hmm, Jeff, mm -hmm. food security. We have so much land. We have so much water. Four point plan. Exactly. You guys are just talking to each other. I mean, you're, but, but, but listen. You're, 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 but you're, listen. You're, you're singing from the same hymn book. No, no. Listen. A Kuro Court or Third Way Alliance has never formed a government. These people who are proposing this thing are regurgitating on the same, same issues they have co repeatedly said they will do. We were told by, for example, Jubilee, mm. and, and that's the government that I want to criticize, that they will address the gender equation. One they, third, two thirds? They never. Even right now, the proposed cabinet has not addressed that issue. 
that's a question for for discussion and that's why third way alliance has come up with a with a proposal that will address the gender question the gender equality okay let's go through some points attorney general uh professor gito mugai resigning which is kind of surprising it shocked a lot of people maybe it didn't shock uh, why, people why, in the, why, in the, why why is that surprising well, you know you weren't shocked no I, I, why everybody can resign from no public but service. were you shocked that maybe you thought maybe it's going to get another five years maybe I, I, di I didn't have to be shocked about it i mean resignation is is provided so you're for not you weren't shocked no I, I didn't have to what do you think of his tenure oh ages tenure mm -hmm. uh, what about it what specific okay, about what it? do you think uh, how do you think he performed well I think Attorney General Gidumi Gai, who is my personal friend, my, my teacher of law, still is my teacher of law, uh, even though he taught me many years ago, uh, he, he's a fairly good man. Uh, I think he, he, he did his work to the best of his abilities. Uh, and, uh, and, and for me, um, I have not, I mean, if I read any reports of... Um, uh, Friction yes. or... Or he didn't get along with uh, others around him, or uh, Jeff, he wasn't liked by. Jeff, I'm not. I don't want to be a commentator on just measure. I want. To, I want to tell you that if you look at, for example, the the, the shadow cabinet that we are proposing as Study Alliance, you've seen it for yourself. I see it. Yeah. I Serious see fellows. You have. You have. Yeah. yeah? And women included. Serious uh, women included. Yeah. Who want to do law differently? Who want to represent the state differently? I will tell you this: the office of the Attorney General, in my view, in the last say couple of years hasn't done very well in terms of protecting our boundaries, you know, ex territoriality of Kenya. And I say this because I come from the Kenya of the North, where we have issues around Elemi Triangle, we have issues around Migingo Island in the, on the western side, and I think we should have really been able to resolve those issues. But, uh, you know, that for me is not really Okay, to back to uh, Gidu, uh, Gidu's replacement. What do you think of uh, Justice Paul uh, Kihara Karyuki? He's a competent, uh, he's a competent judge. Uh, I, I know him uh, from the Court of Appeal. I mean, he's, uh, he has all the credentials, and uh, I, it's up to Parliament to approve him for, for appointment or not. Uh, but um, you know, uh, we wait to see. And, yeah. and, and, and like, and like, uh, like I said earlier to you, that uh, Third Way Alliance provided to the National uh, Assembly uh, a framework of vetting uh, of any presidential nominees yeah. and we hope that they will look at questions about qualification and suitability uh, chapter 6 uh, corruption but you have no problem with uh, justice the replacement well, justice Karyuki. Uh, at face value I don't know unlike Jeff I think unless you really have any particular issue okay I think I don't want to just be a mere commentator uh, I see, okay a, your mm. shadow cabinet I see the um, uh, your shadow attorney general nominee or one of the people who applied applicants applicants mm -hmm. You have quite a few women. No, quite a number. We have about over uh, 11, uh, 11 w women with serious competencies, and you can look at their, their qualifications. I mean, we, we are trying to shadow uh, this government, and, and I hope when, when we publish our list, and I hope that the media will actually pull out President Uhuru's list of nominees and ours and say, okay, who has actually done fairly well in terms of looking out for Kenyans who have Suitab competent yeah. suitability. Okay, let's let me take a random guy here and you just okay. tell me, yeah. There's mm -hmm. a guy called Dr. James Kirimi Wanjagi. Fantastic fellow. I mean he's applied for ICT uh, cabinet exactly. slot. I mean, if you look at his credentials, man, this guy is uh, is fairly young, uh, professor yeah. at Strathmore University mm -hmm. and uh, you know, eighteen years in the US and decided to leave the US to come and serve his country. That's what he said. And 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 and, and, and I know a bit of inside stories about him. He actually volunteered to go to the ICT department and proposed to them on how we can use ICT to revolutionize Kenya, to change Kenya. And I mean, this is a fellow, if I was in government, if I was in charge of government, I would not allow a fellow like Kremi uh, to waste away lecturing. This is a fellow who should be either be a cabinet secretary or a serious advisor mm. to the president. You know, we have many, many, and, and I can talk on and on. Did about he get a re good reception at the ICT? Did Mushero welcome him? Well, uh, they had a conversation. Musheru, uh, as I understand, uh, welcomed him. They discussed very well. But they've never called him since then. I mean, I mean and again, you know, like, like I was telling uh, Dr. Kerimi when I, when I met him earlier uh, today, um, I wasn't surprised what he went through. When I came back from, from Warwick, 
uh, you know, and I apply for jobs, I was told you are overqualified. You're overqualified. Uh, Kenya's Kenya's uh, public service appears to attract uh, political uh, political sympathizers. It's not about people who want to serve. And I hope we'll be able to change our public service to the to to the extent that we attract people who really want to serve the public, want to give back the public. Okay, look, it's not about yeah. it's not about an avenue for making money. Okay, you know, you refuse or you almost tiptoeing around Jubilee. I, 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 maybe it's just me, but you hardly criticize Jubilee. If I was to ask you what Jubilee's you overall performance, in the oh. what would you say? What grade I, would you give him? I have a lot. Listen, why did I run for presidency of the Republic of Kenya if I didn't disagree with Jubilee? I have even said as, uh, as early as last month that Jubilee has already started failing in many of its projects. Pick, for example, secondary education. Jubilee said that um, secondary education will be free. It's not free. I'm, I'm constantly helping fundraise money for poor uh, for parents to send their kids to school. Cost of living, we were told it will be, it will, it will be reduced. That's not true. The UNGA has gone up. Today, Jubilee even lied to my, 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 my native county, to Rukana County, that uh, you know, the, you know, the production sharing formula, uh, petroleum, will probably be like between 20 and 30 percent. Now they are backtracked on that. I mean, historical injustice. Jubilee took five months to give us a cabinet. I've said all this mm. repeatedly. So how is it that I'm not criticizing Jubilee? Why would I be sh forming a, a cabinet, a shadow cabinet, if I'm not against Jubilee? And listen, and I've said this, and I will also repeat to you, I am not interested in politics of confrontation. We will never do that, because we are interested in politics of conversation. If Jubilee is doing anything right, fair enough, we'll admit. You know, that's yeah. why, for example, we are proposed. I mean, we are concerned that in Jubilee's proposed cabinet, uh, 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 nominees, there is allegedly a seven, a standard seven class dropout. Mm. That offends many millions of Kenyans who toil to go to school. I mean, that we have, we have said. Yeah, it. but he's going to pass, right? Said. He's been passed. Yeah. He's been passed. Well, it's very sad. I mean, it's very sad. And I think for me, if that is the truth, uh, Third Way Alliance will definitely petition Parliament again to make sure that I will petition Parliament, President Uru. But we are not, I mean, listen, uh, Jeff, I know Kenyans are excited. They want the politics of confrontation, violent politics. Yeah. We are not doing that. We have said, as, as a party, we want to change the political conversation in this country. Can we reduce it to issues? Which is why in this 14-point in this, uh, agenda for national conversation, we have listed things I've listed, including employment creation. Many of our young people today are not employed. Can we talk about that? Ending negative ethnicity and tribalism in the public service. Uh, strengthening devolution. Uh, security reforms public debt today anybody including your children jeff they owe somebody somewhere out there yeah. about ninety thousand kenya shillings i Her mean child. we are talking about liberalization of power generation and development of inter-county highways we are talking about the referendum to reduce number of mps and to 194. Mm. we're talking about appointment of cabinet secretaries. why the delay we have said the role of the media these are issues that i wish really we could focus ourselves on and see what is the government of the day doing about these issues? What is our alternative? If you read our memorandum, I invite Kenyans to read our memorandum, and, uh, and my colleagues who are here are already sharing this memorandum on social media, Facebook. Just read it, what we are proposing, and let's have a conversation around it. We are not going to say, we don't like you, we had, I, may, I may not like you, Jeff, but I want to respectively differ with you. Mm. Yeah? Uh, we don't have to love each other, sure. but we can also you know, agree you know, the, 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 there are certain issues that we can agree on. Yeah. I, if it is matter security, why shouldn't we agree on matter security? Sure. If it matters employment, yeah. we, we have to discuss those things. And we have to get along. We have to get along. We may not like each other. Yeah. 2022, you're going to run? Uh, well, you know, like Chino Achebe said, in things fall apart. A toad does not run in broad daylight for nothing at all. A Kura Okoro is not setting us, setting, putting together a shadow cabinet or a cabinet shadow president Uhuru, or talk about policy, uh, because I don't want to. I can confirm to Kenyans that 2022, I will run again, uh, unless my party tells me, Ikuru, we have somebody else, uh, you know, who we think we can sell to Kenyans. Mm. If they don't say that, I've offered myself as a party leader, uh, and God willing, inshallah, uh, 2022, I will run. Yeah. Alonzo, they say the reason he didn't show up for the swearing in was because he wants to run in 22. 
to be honest with you, I don't want to discuss the people like Kalonzo. Kalonzo and all many of them are a tired political narrative in Kenya. These are people, in my view, who could do themselves a favor or do Kenyans a favor by just resigning. Why is it that we keep on regurgitating about the same fellows all the time? Seriously, Kenya has more people qualified, competent, you know, with better even educated, with skills, who can actually inject transformative ideas in this country. You know, we do ourselves a lot of disservice by regurgitating around the same individuals. And, and yet I, we do. Yet we and do, yet but we line but up. But I can tell you well. this, I can tell you this, Third Way Alliance Kenya is different. When, when I chose to run for politics, people thought I was joking. People thought I was looking for a job. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I resigned a very big UN job to come and do this. Thing. And like I said, I want change to come during my time. In the unfortunate event that it does not happen during my time, I hope I will have built a succession plan so that my children, your children, and every other Kenyan's children out there and their children can have a better Kenya. That is my dream. And, and Jeff, you and I at our ages right now, and let's not tell Kenyans how old we are. <laughs> we are living a bonus life, whether you like it or no not. No doubt about it. We look, you look at our lifestyles, the kind of diseases these days, yeah. we are living a bonus life. So the only honorable thing we can do to this society, to this country, is to make a contribution for it to be better. The only thing standing between us and life right now is death. And before death catches up with us, please, do something for this country. And I, this reminds me of the words of JFK when, JFK, when people keep on saying that, you know, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for, for your, your country. country. The end, have we seen the end of political dynasties? Is it over now? You know, where one literally, you know, follows another. Political dynasties is a big disappointment in this country. And guess what, Jeff? Mm. This is a very tiny, tiny, minority in Kenya. Today, uh, speak about political dynasties. We are in Kitui West. We have a, a candidate called DMM, Dennis Muli Mulwa. Fine fellow, running for member of parliament to replace uh, the late Nyenze. Mm. But because of political dynasties, you hear big names, Nyenze, the Mwendwas, mm. and the rest. Mm. Same thing is being replicated. And I hope the people of Kitui West, if they're listening to me today, will begin to change the political narrative of this country by electing Dennis Muli Mulwa, DMM, as he is known on the ground. And that will, will end political dynasties. 2022, there will be no Kenyatta, there will be no Raila. And I hope there will be no these other people who have been hanging on the fence, uh, you know, uh, um, I mean, associated with those big dynasties. And, and, and I will challenge Kenyans. Political dynasties, big family names, have never made the cost of living better. I've never increased their hunger in the, on their tables. You know, they have never helped them. It is purely for their benefit. And even, even if you look at the, the you know, the, the political uh, rewards, for example, Yala, yeah. look at who was who are being rewarded. Mm. It's about those same, same people. It's not the ordinary uh, Kenyans who die for these political names. So I'm really hoping that this is a waking, wake up call for Kenyans. And let's not tire. Let's continue talking about this. Let's, let's debate these issues. And that's why Third Way Alliance is confronting uh, the political narrative in this country and proposing a 14-point You are just, you are just an idealist, aren't you? You're just I'm an not. idealist. I'm not. I'm, I'm practical. Listen, what is idealistic about the fact that there is negative ethnicity in this country? No, nothing. Today, well, uh, today, let me tell you, Jeff, everybody looks, Jeff Koinange, they will say, this is a Kikuyu. He must be benefiting because there's a man called Kamwana Uru Kenyatta in, in, in State House. And they're probably related. Chief, and I, I, I'm told you are related. No, 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 no. You see, you see, yeah. you see, you see? That's the narrative. Ah, yeah. You people, that's what you're doing. I see. Now, now, now that exactly confirms <laughs> what I'm saying. That if you did not do yes. your journalism, yes. and I read it from your book, yes. if you did not sacrifice, yes. you started as a, as a, as a air, air steward. Uh, yes. Right? Yes. If you didn't struggle, I, mean, I followed your journey. Correct. Jeff. But then you'd be saying that I'm, I'm, I'm a product of political patronage. So, so, so what will you say about a Kuru Um, court? Um, um, smart guy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Monica, yeah, uh, even my, visa, yeah, even my visa infinite from Standard Chartered. Shall we swipe it and check out some tweets before we close yeah, up? Let's do that. Thank you very much. Gregory Kariuki, I wish a Kuru court had the manpower and the numbers to offer the services of the opposition Kenya.
we need a sober mind like his wish you well Moshimiwa. thank you very much georgie samuel n orutua you say any country needs mature politics in order to have good leadership but this as well must be coupled with mature electorate who exactly should put the right people at the right positions of authority what i will tell samuel is this the right people is us do not wait for any other person if you are not able to influence the community around you you are not able to be that voice of reason then the majority of kenyans who have been reduced to a state of hopelessness will never see that and it's as people who are being critical who are sitting on the fence mm. we must get out there too much fence to sitting community. too much fence sitting christopher a court makes a lot of sense to anyone who loves this country i love christopher for saying that and yes join the party chamai nikubwa jeremiah what dr accord is talking of a shadow cabinet is in order but how does he dream of it working and winning kenyans hearts oh they will see from what uh, our, our our shadow cabinet secretaries advisors will do because these are men who are committed to saying that we will mirror the, the, the current, current, current cabinet secretary and we'll provide alternative ways we will petition parliament under article 119 that allows anybody we will sponsor motion one of the motions that we are sponsoring for many men of the constitution and i hope you have seen actually uh, our, our our letter to to chebukati mm. is we want to reduce the size of parliament to 194 members how many constituencies is that it will only be 47 constituencies and 194 47 com constituencies 194 maximum how many counties 47 so 47 counties 47 constituencies yes can i give you the formula go on the formula is very simple each county to elect one woman one man 47 times for, to 94. for the national assembly uh -huh. then we, we provide an opportunity for six nomination for special interest groups in each county uh, no six six okay six that makes it 100 members of the national assembly then senate we double we make one one woman one uh, uh, one senator one one man that makes 94 that in total is 194 parliamentarians that reduces the cost of running uh, national assembly currently we are spending 21 billion jeff to run the national assembly 21 billion we will reduce it to 5 billion per, per annum we will address the question of inequality we will ensure there is quality discussion in parliament mm. right now what the parliament we have to be honest with you is like a marketplace people have not even been able to speak at all what do you do with all those extra red seats uh, we will convert them into nice tables and you know and uh, make a good uh, workstation with a computer and everything we, we, i mean we, we can't miss something to do with it we don't need them <laughs> amos guitar how i wish dr cott can get an official office as the leader of official opposition we need structures to check the government i hope that's a basis that president Uhuru kenyatta and his people are listening to if they are interested in constructive politics then they must provide for official opposition to have some support uh, where we can actually check them because as we have said we want to do constructive yeah politics. next to last for official bodyguards and official vehicles mm -hmm. and official everything um, i mean if you are you're doing a service to the country i mean some of us really are not so much concerned about such things because we've never stolen from anybody i mean i, I drive myself coming here uh, you know jeff um, yeah. i see you at valley arcade getting your shoes polished yes i, I do i, I do that I, I, you and i go to the same shoe shiner yeah, yeah, peterson you know, peterson Great yeah guy and uh, we, we drive we ourselves there together, we, yes. we have no fear none we haven't stolen from anybody right so monica is that if I, will, I will still use public transport by the way if, if, if even if I was a public, I mean, a, a, a leader of opposition. Sorry, mm -hmm. see the camera over there? Mm -hmm. That's your camera. Final yeah. thoughts. My final thoughts to Kenyans is this. Where our politics is going right now is not desirable at all. We must change the course of our politics. We must have a conversation around the issues that concern us. I want Kenyans to look at our 14-point agenda for national conversation. We must change. We cannot forever be fighting about politics. None of us eats politics. We actually want economic opportunities, employment for our people. We want health care. We want security. We want national cohesion. That is what matters. Let's build a country that we can all be proud of. I hate to say this, uh, ke fellow Kenyans, that we are always compared to the tiger economies of Singapore, Malaysia in the 1960s. 50 years later, the economies are like 50,000, 50 times that of Kenya. I think we should be embarrassed why our hedge mates have left us so behind. 
Third way, Alliance is here to provide constructive dialogue with all Kenyans. And that's what we are going to do. And I urge all of you, join this party and let's build a better Kenya for all of us. Kenya belongs to all of us in equal measure. And I want to thank you all. Please love your neighbor. Peace forever. And we can have one nation called Kenya. Dr. Ikuru Alcott, Third Way Alliance, and also official opposition leader. I'm happy you're finally saying that, Jeff. Oh, what a conversion. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying we've got to keep talking, Dr. Ari, because the minute we stop talking is the minute we start fighting. Jeff, we are, we are, we are ready to, to talk to Kenyans every week, every day, yeah. if you want. I've got a big team right now of our, over 130 people who are willing to occupy right. space in your station. We look forward to your cabinet unveiling next week. We will. In the meantime, uh, we understand that South African President Jacob Zuma is about to...